Alright, this is Shaggy's first time on the block. However, yesterday I did ask him to go up on the tires and amazingly he did it. Deep, deep. Oh, good boy. When I say deep, that is helping to gap the time from when he did the action I want to when he gets his pay. And even if you're not using pay, that just really helps them connect the dots. So I gotta get them lined up again. on for this if you've been working on this for a while and you find yourself getting frustrated or you think your donkey is getting frustrated you don't have to reach the end goal today this can all be in baby steps so I'm noticing with Shaggy I have to do a lot of extra correction compared to the other ones we're trying to keep him facing the direction I want him and I'm, I, I kind of feel my patience not staying where I want it to feel so, if this is happening to you, get them to do one more, like one more that's good. Whatever that might look like compared to where they're at. And then, and then call good and move on to something else. You don't have to quit, like, working with them, but you don't have to reach the goal today. Deep! There he touched it again. So I could take that as the win and then be done and move on to something else instead of making him or myself overwhelmed with all the extra correction that we have to do. At the point that you start to notice that you're overwhelmed, your donkey probably is also. So it's okay to go in the baby steps. Now if you're doing extra correction because they're wanting to spin around the block, Deep. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Um, I end up by putting a little bit more pressure and going towards the, the body part. So if I wanted his right hip to move away from me, then I would come with a little bit more pressure so his right hip moves. Because I always want to try to keep him straight. I don't want him shaped like a banana around me. <laughs> so with that, we're going to stop and move on to his feet, and then we'll go to the trailer.